Hi everyone, and welcome back to Sit in It for a Bit on a Sunday with Arne and Carlos. And we are, as always, your hosts, Arne and Carlos. And we are back with yet another <laughs> one of our Sit in It for a Bit podcasts, where you sit in it and we just recap and talk about all things uh, that have been going on here for the past uh, two weeks. Yes. Some, we, we can't knit and sit and knit and talk. Yeah. We have problems uh, multitasking. Yes, we do. Yes. We have problems so multi we multitasking and therefore we don't talk about the knitting. <laughs> Uh, no, we talk about so, it. We can talk about it, but we can't knit. That's what I was going to say. We talk about the knitting, you just do the knitting. Anyway, it is as simple as that. This is a podcast about everything and anything that is going on here in Norway. And uh, if you haven't heard from us or of us before, our names are Arne and Carlos. This is Arne and I'm Carlos. And we are designers. We've been working um, as fashion designers. And nowadays we design knitting patterns. We work with companies like Rowan and Regia, where yeah. we design sock yarn. And we are up to quite a lot of shenanigans. Uh, yes, we every, are. Yeah. And talking about Rowan and knitting, look what we got in the post. Oh, yes. Knitting and Crochet Magazine number 75. Yay! The Rowan Magazine. The Rowan Magazine. And I believe we have two. We have two designs in that one. Two designs. So the you can see here. Inspiration. It says designers and Arne and Carlos are mentioned. So which is us. We have, I think we and, have two, uh, two I, sweaters. I believe we do, yes. We in have, the garden part. Yeah, we have a, um, a lovely little, here it is, it's called Rosemary. No, that's Erica Knight. No, no, Blossom. <laughs> no, yeah. You see, it's so long ago, I can't hardly remember. So this is our design, the, the pink, one. pink one, Blossom, which is a, a, um, a kind of a lace design with, with florals on it. Uh, <laughs> you should put posters in. Yeah, we, we, we definitely should. Because now you are. Uh, yeah, and now I'm going to have to look for the other one. I mean, I need to find the. Are you sure there's two? I know there's you two. You know there's two. Okay, so. It's easier if I find it. Which could I it remember. be? Because I can't remember. Or can I remember? Can I not remember? That's there it one. is, yes. So <laughs> it's called Trail, and it's this one here. The green one. It's uh, quite nice. Again, a lacy pattern. Yeah. yeah, and I remember the brief because actually Rowan tells us, um, they don't tell us what to do, but no. they give us a little brief. And then this one was inspired by greenhouses. Yes. And it could be everything from windows in greenhouses to um, plants that, you know, you know, all sorts of mm. ideas. So you can go from architectural kind of yeah, point of view to, where you would do uh, um, a knitting pattern that maybe had squares on it that would reflect the windows and then we decided to do this curves and swirls of hanging plants yes. and the vines of, of other plants. And that we did a lot of things but we didn't send all of it. We yeah, are, we, I think we are the, our worst critics. We do a lot of stuff and then we... We don't like it and we then we don't... remove things Yeah, in the end. I don't know, maybe another time we should just send everything. Yeah, I mean, know. usually we'll get a, a pitch or a, yeah. not a pitch. Usually we will get a brief and we will have to send uh, mm. in some suggestions. Um, and that is done twice a year for the Rowan yeah. magazines. And then we get to do other kinds of designs, uh, like little design books and things. So um, we may actually, we did a cushion and interior homeware collection that uh, was launched uh, last year for mm. Rowan. And I think we're going to ask, have to ask them to send it here so that we can feature all the designs on our yeah, channel. Because we don't have, have the products. That would be a very so good that idea. Could be nice. And then we just, we, we, we've been on a new cruise. And this time we, we hosted a quilting cruise. We did, yes. Yeah. So uh, we usually do knitting cruises and they're very popular. They're done here in Norway. And our guests come from uh, all over the world to participate and enjoy um, some knitting time uh, as, as we travel along one of the most beautiful coastlines in the world. Yeah. But this year, um, we well, tried to time. do, yeah, this time, we tried to do something a little bit different. It was a one-off, we will, probably won't do it again, uh, but we did a quilting cruise together yeah. with um, our friend over at the last Omni House, Kate. Yeah. And that was a lot of fun. It was a little bit different for us because Kate was, uh, was um, with us and um, we actually worked on her project. Yep. And so we were lucky enough that we could just take a little <laughs> yeah, back just... seat and enjoy, uh, <laughs> enjoy the whole cruise together with all the other guests, which was fun. It was fun. And uh, her project was um, what eventually had to become a bag. And I've got my, 
I got the ones that I started on, so uh, <laughs> yeah, an yeah, English uh, paper piecing project. Yeah. And the idea is you sew these together and then you create, um, you create like a bag with these hexagons, mm -hmm. these elongated hexagons. Mm -hmm. And it was fun, it, it was fun starting out, but then I got a horrible migraine. Yeah, and you stopped and sewing. And I had to uh, leave, uh, I had to leave the deck for a few days and just lie down. And after that, when I came back, it was really difficult to focus because Every time I looked at these, um, my eyes were very um, mm. under a lot of strain after the migraine. I was not feeling very well. So I put this down and then I needed my hat, which I don't think is here. It's here. Oh, it's here. The hat you finished. Finally, you yeah. finished Oh, here it is. Hat. So I finished this instead uh, because you see... <laughs> one year later. One year later, yeah. <laughs> I started this uh, in August when we were on the Svalbard Express on a knitting cruise and I finished it now. Because as you can see, there's a big difference in size here. These are, these are quite small. And um, when I was sewing, I was feeling a bit, you know, like dizzy and my eyes were and really, small, small I was, you know, I was forcing myself to see. Um, and it was, you know, it was hard because it was so fiddly and I had just been sick. So yeah. I put this down and this is a very easy hat because all the, all the white stitches that you can see, so you see the white stitches are purled and the blue stitches are knit. So it's really easy. You do, uh, you do two knit, two purl. So two blue in knit, two white in purl. And you do that um, and then two knit in blue. Mm. And you do that every two rounds and then you do um, two rounds of just knit in blue. It's a super easy hat and this one actually um, was possible to just take up How many from have the made? bag. How many? Well, this is the I think you have made first... a lot of those. No, no, no. This is the first one. The I've first ever done. one? Yes. Are you sure? I'm quite sure. Oh. I thought and... they have loads of those. Well, yeah, but you've made them. I've made this one. Oh, I thought you made them. And it's super easy because all you do is uh, you take it out of your project bag and you do this. And you can look at the nature. And you can actually, you know, you can look down a little mm. bit and then you can look up and look down. And it works. Mm. It works. Whilst this this was a little bit um, hard. And I started that project and I have, I have stitched down most of the, the paper pieces, mm. but then we went to this um, quilt shop in Bodø and I found a pile of fabrics and I got inspired. Yeah. So actually but the, the plan for me was to do it as it was and not change anything, but then I found the fabrics and I also found a book Mm -hmm. on, on quilting. Oh yeah, the Quilting ABC. That's uh, yeah, the Quilting yeah. ABC mm. in the thrift store and the same paper pieces was used in something called the church window. Yeah. So I, I started to change things with the fabrics I found. So I started with this one. That's very nice. And I pl my plan is to put some pink on the side here and I'm not doing a bag. I'm th I think I'm going to applique this on one of the totes bags that we are handing Good out idea, to people yeah. so it can be like a memory of the quilting cruise on one side and then mm. yeah, the picture of us on the other side but this is also very fun yeah this is fun and it's actually they're very beautiful yeah. so uh yeah this is a cool project and anyway uh, yeah it, it was challenging to do this for me because of the migraine and then the other issue was lighting uh mm -hmm. this time of the year it does get dark after a certain time um, and maybe we should have done the quilting cruise in August when we have more lights. 24 hours of, of, of light. Um, but it was fun. I mean, I am going to do something with this. So stay tuned and, and we'll see what and it... And you can also have mine, the one in those colors, because I'm going to continue. You're going to continue with those colors. With the other fabrics. Yeah. So I will, so. I will, I will do something. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was, it was uh, difficult. I have to say, it was cha challenging <laughs> yeah. due and to my health issues yeah. and the lighting issues. And I noticed that a lot of people, a lot of people in the group, they were having a lot of fun doing this. We had several who completed their projects mm -hmm. um, and were lovely. But we also had uh, quite a few that were doing both the knitting and yeah. the um, And I think a lot of people, they switched to, after a while, a lot of people switched back to knitting in the evenings because of the... It was easier, yeah. It, it's easier to knit in the yeah. dark. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> totally dark, but... And, and I have those light, lights and I forgot, yeah. I forgot my lights. Yeah. I borrowed some, but I forgot the lights, so... 
But I, I brought a lot of stuff, and my plan was to finish things. And yeah, you had nine projects, and you I didn't finish had, anything. No. I had one project that I finished, yeah. and, and would you like to model this for me? Yeah. Just so that I can see that you it's... You can see how beautiful it is. Yeah. Look at this one. Yeah. It's very nice. Oh, beautiful. Ooh. But this is in our... What, what's this called? Reine? This, uh, yeah, the pattern is on our website. It's called Reine. Mm. We designed it, and... Um, and the, this is from the Norwegian wool um, that we do, the Rowan Norwegian wool that we have designed for Rowan, and the colors are available um, at Rowan. Yeah. So, I did also some knitting. I found this doll in the thrift store in Bergen. So this is the first prototype for the sweater. This is probably strong for mm. people, but it put on be decent, okay? This doll is called Sjorven. This is a doll yeah. Everybody, all the kids in Norway, I guess, if they had a doll, they had this one. Well, wow. all the kids your age. Yeah, when I because grow up. yeah, when you grow up, yeah. I mean, I don't <laughs> think kids today know <laughs> no, know this doll. No, we tried washing her hair with conditioner and shampoo because God no. I mean, this comes from a bin in a in a <laughs> thrift store. Thrift store so. and, and she was also painted. The kid who owned it has painted her face, and I managed to remove some of the paint. But There's are the freckles? Some... No, they are real. They the, real. <laughs> they can't, They so, came with the oh, doll. Oh, okay. So the the freckles come with the mm. doll. Yeah. But what we need to do is get rid of the poor uh, of the of the lipstick. She's you know she's overpainted her lips, yeah. uh, like uh, many of the kids do when they play with their mommy's um, makeup, right? And this is a, this is the same doll as the first doll I had because my sister had one of these, and I used her her doll all the time to make clothing. Hmm. And then she never got her doll, so my mother took me to Lilyhammer, and she said, "We have to go to Lilyhammer and buy you a doll, so you can have one for yourself." And I yeah. got a, a blonde one, mm -hmm. but, but she's, very she's long gone. So childhood traumas, huh? Yeah. So this reminds you of the of your fights well, with I your did, sister. What, what I did with my doll in the end, I cut her hair. Everything no. was cut off, and then I painted her. The no. whole doll was painted. You cut her hair. I, I destroyed her. Totally. Why? She's like the weird Barbie in the Barbie, Barbie movie. Barbie movie, yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, let's not cut this one's hair. Yeah. Uh, anyway, she's got a lovely sweater, as you can see. And I mean, it's as easy as that, you know? You do a little bit of a green base, and then you do two colors, yeah. and you do like a kind of a but Norwegian looking uh, knitted yeah. pattern. I'm not going to change it because it became too long on the sleeve. Yeah, so. well. But I had, I, I also started this jacket. Let me see. I brought this, the sleeve, because I have, have this jacket from the thrift store. And I cut out the sleeve because it's way too short. And I think this oh. is, is a beautiful jacket, but the sleeves are too short. Yeah, the sleeves end up here on Arne, like three-quarter yeah. sleeves. It's not very flattering on a man. So I'm, what I'm trying now, I cut out the sleeve. So and, yeah. And I added this pattern one more time. So now, hopefully, this will be a good sleeve. Yeah, so the, from here all the way to here. So that's, this is the old one? This is the old sleeve, and then... I added this one. This is the new sleeve. Yeah. And then it's going to go back in, um, back in here. Back in there. And you're making it so that there's enough... Or that there's the same number of stitches. Yeah, yeah I didn't increase anything. Mm. But there's a seam on this one because this was knitted flat. So yeah. there's a seam. And I knitted on the round. So but it doesn't matter. No, I, like, I just want to use it instead of having this one lying in a box. Yeah, this is a very beautiful color, yeah. I have to say. You know, we have one in blue also. So why don't you put the sleeve on top so that we can see... See the difference? See the difference now. I, I can hold it from... So this side, then you can see. Yeah. I added this length. So uh, if we do this and you lower the other one... This is... So you see? So I just added this one. The ideal thing would be to actually add more of this pattern but then I had to unravel so much. Mm. What are you doing? I'm making faces. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing behind that? I don't know. So, I just <laughs> play fooling around. Yeah. Now I'm just going to turn this and do the, the placket. Yeah. But I think we, got, we will save this for a video when Eric is coming. So we can, so we can do a about tutorial it about it. And yeah. show you how we do it. And mm. hopefully it will work. Yeah. I hope. Mm -hmm. But I struggle to find the right color. So first we found... Uh, the colors in one yarn and I knitted the whole thing and then I felt the yarn was too coarse. 
Yeah, so, it was a different kind of yarn, yeah. yeah. So I took it out and then this is the yarn I used the first time. Yeah, this is very coarse. It's too coarse and then I found this which is more matching the other yarn. Was it the PT? PT? No, this is Mr. called... Um, this actually is not 100% wool. Oh. It's... Um, I don't remember the name. But which brand is it from? Is it Sunness? Sunness it's or Sunness. Roma, I'm not sure. Me too. Me too is Me too. alpaca and... Uh, no, not me too. It's, it's not, not me too. Alpaca, me it? too is alpaca and um, and wool. It's from Roma. M I T U. It's not, it's not that one. No, so it's not that one. I have the label somewhere. So I think it's Pete. No, no. That was I. Th I, tr I think I tried that also, and that didn't work. Oh, okay. So but, but now you, at but, least. But I have to say, I think you did nail the colors. Yeah, these are. I I couldn't get any closer, and it's there's two greens already. So this is close to the dark one. I think it looks nice. And I mean, it's, you know, I mean, you're redesigning it. So whatever colors you choose are part of the new design. There's no, yeah, there's no right or no, wrong. No, and it doesn't matter because like, if, if I don't fix this one, it will be in a box in yeah. the storage room forever. Mm. But now I can at least use it. Yeah, so this is a, this is a current uh, UFO or a PhD, a project half done. Yeah, that's a new one. Yeah, yeah, that's a new one. We've got lots of PhDs in this house. <laughs> but this will be completed on video, so uh, stay tuned. We're going to have Eric and Anna and PJ coming over in June, and we're going to do some filming, yeah. um, and uh, we're going to film, among others, this as a tutorial. Um, and we're excited. I mean, we kind of uh, had a period now where we felt that we had... Um, Run out of run out of mini tutorials, but we have decided um, to do them again. So we're going to re-record lots like, of our knitting tutorials. Uh, there's also stuff like when 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 we talk to people, there's things that are a little bit unclear. Mm. So I think maybe we should do some things over again and look at the old one and what was not clear and mm. try to be more clear. I think the biggest problem, especially for me. Then we have to say everything in English all the time. Yeah, that is a thing. <laughs> we should, if we said it in Norwegian, it would be finished. Yeah. But time. I was inspired by Taylor Swift. I mean, she's done uh, her new versions of all her um, albums. It's Taylor's version, <laughs> right? Uh, and nowadays, uh, you should support Taylor. So Taylor's version is the one you should listen to, I think. Oh yeah, because other do... The others she doesn't the own. cover. No, the other one, versions that she did before, she doesn't own them. But Taylor's oh, versions, are. she That's owns true. them. Now, we're not that dramatic no. here, um, and we're definitely not Taylor Swift. But the, the point <laughs> being that all the tutorials we've done, I mean, after we've done them, we've learned new things. Mm. And uh, if we look at a tutorial um, and we think about what could we do bit different or and what could we do better this time, I think we could come up with a lot of new things. Yeah. So. And I think that sometimes you take things for granted because you're so used to do things mm. and you think that everybody understands what you're talking about and that's not the fact all the time. No. So you have to, you have to look through that. So we're going to go look through the, uh, the catalog and we're going to select a lot of tutorials and we're going to re-record them if on in Carlos version yeah, number but, two. But if there's something you want to see or have more have explained one more time tell us let us know yeah. and uh, it's very easy you just pop it down in the comments down below and we will figure a way to uh, make it into a tutorial yeah. and now i'm going to show you what i did before we went on the cruise because i found it very appropriate wearing my quilted book trousers. No, they're not quilted they're patchwork they're right? patchwork trousers on the tour so i fixed my trousers yeah it's These finished. are beautiful. But the problem with this one is I can't wear long johns under them. <laughs> no, because they're a little tight. A bit tight. They must have shrunk as you were <laughs> as you were sewing them. They must have shrunk somehow. No, they were kind of <laughs> shrunken already. Yeah. But what I'm thinking of for this one is that I'm going to cut up in the side mm. and I'm going to add two centimeters of denim fabric yeah. and sew that back on. Mm. And then I can add more of this fabric on top. But yeah. this is like the, what's it called in Japanese? Sashiko. Sashi, sachiko. When you do stitches up and down. Yeah, the so. Sachiko embroidery. So in case you're wondering where the beautiful, because I mean, look at these fabrics. I mean, they are absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. They're all indigo and they're all African. All these fabrics are uh, typical from South Africa and a lovely couple 
I have from South Africa gave us this um, as a gift when they were on the Svalbard Express in um, in August. Because I have a card. Uh, yeah. And, our, and we have a little card from them as well. I have so, I'm, I, I'm so bad with names. Yeah. I remember it was um, uh, Laura and Bjorn. Bjorn, yes. So thank you, La thank Laura, you Laura and Bjorn for, for the, the beautiful, beautiful South fabrics. African fabrics. We truly enjoyed them. Um, and um, we love it that they are different. I mean, they're all mm. different kinds of or shades of indigo with different patterns. And then the whole fun of this project, look at this one here, for example. Uh, it's very that. nice. I love, I love this. The fabrics. fun part of this project was actually putting them together um, and repairing these. Mm. It's a lot of work because I hand stitched everything. Everything is hand stitched. I was just following the pattern, so I was stitching in between the patterns, so I didn't destroy the pattern. Yeah. You still want to see the patterns. Exactly. Yeah. And the sashiko thread, we bought that in Japan. In Japan. Mm. So we bought the few of those cones with sashiko yeah. yarn. I, I, we also tried this with embroidery yarn, mm. the DMC or Anchor, but I'm not sure if that is yeah. as uh, strong as this one. But I have to cut it open and do en a little enlarge there, it. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm also working on another that was totally worn out. And um, I think I have to make that wider also. Yeah. But it, I think it came out nice. It came out beautiful. So uh, very, very excited. I wish I could wear them. They used to be my pants. Um, I had to give them to Arne because um, they shrank, as they do in the closet after a few years. Yeah, so, but now I'm going to enlarge. Mm. And now, yeah, maybe I can wear them again. Mm. But I, lo I love this trouser. And you know, when you, when you, you wear this, I, I wore this in the store in Bode, and I, you get so many compliments when you come into a store with yeah. this. People think this is very cool. Well, the colors are gorgeous. Why, why don't you put them in the camera one more time so that everybody can see the beautiful patterns so from close up? You can probably see the yeah. stitches, maybe. And you can see the beautiful, uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And the fabrics are, are from a company called, I think it was Three Cats. Three cat. I think it was. Three cats. Three cats. Actually, I, I found South them Africa. on Instagram. I think you can order them from, from, Probably, like, yes. from the website. Yeah. But we're going to South Africa, so... So we'll see. Yeah, well, not this year, but no, we are planning a trip to South Africa next year. Yeah. Now, about the Sachiko embroidery thread, uh, it is probably the best place to buy it is in Japan, I guess. A lot mm. of people are going to Japan now. It's becoming a hot destination for yeah. travel. So in case you have um, any plans to travel to Japan, um, there are quite a few uh, really yeah. good stores. A, a really good one that sells um, Sachiko thread. Liberty fabrics that are only available in the Japanese market. So they're custom made for Japan mm -hmm. and yarns. Um, there's a chain of stores called Hobira Hobira. Yeah. It's either Hobira Hobira or Hobira Hobira. I can't remember, Hobira. but it's one of those two. Uh, they usually have a shop in shop in the main department stores. All department stores have a have an area with uh, crafts. And Hobira Hobira will always have um, a store there. Mm. There's a standalone a store in the Ginza, yeah. which is quite nice. But, you know, they're small. And uh, they really have all you need to get started with your Sachiko. Yeah. But probably some stores all over the world oh, have, yeah. have it. But we haven't asked for it. But Actually, you know, we asked in one store and they didn't have it. But my but point, Arne, it's, you know, if you're, if you're going to buy stuff to do Sachiko embroidery and you're in Japan, that's fun. Yeah, if, right? Yeah. Then you get so, the real thing. Then you get, well, and you've bought it in Japan. So you have a souvenir, like a little memory of, of something that you bought yeah. there for, for a project. So anyway, Hobira Hobira is... Um, a chain of stores that we can recommend. And otherwise in Japan, there are um, quite a lot of department stores. All the, um, all the railways in Japan, they own, you know, the, the railway companies, they own hotels and uh, department stores. So usually, you know, you get off um, in a station and there's a, a department store there. What was the one when it was in, in Osaka? The beautiful one. Hankyu. Hankyu. Hankyu is in Umeda station yeah. in Osaka. Hankyu is one of the most amazing department stores in Japan and on the 13th floor I believe it is mm. or the 11th that, that's there is a whole crazy yeah there's a whole crafts uh, department mm. with a lot of different knitting stores and 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 there's a tamari ball store there that makes that sells the, the yeah. material for and they have a great, great selection of uh, buttons and beads and yeah. sequins 
So highly recommended. Nice. And otherwise, you've got um, Hankyu in Osaka. There's a lot of Daimaru uh, department stores around. There's one in Kanazawa that is that has a great crafts mm. uh, floor. But most of them do. Seibu, Takashimaya, Isetan. I mean, there's so many great department and stores. Prob probably you can shop online. Yeah. If you're not well, it's quite difficult to shop from Japanese stores uh, it is? online. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I think that, and Maybe many of them only cater to Japan. I mean, some yeah. do have international shipping, but anyway, Japan is great for shopping. I mean, that's, that's the bottom the Norwegians line. Norwegians also. Remember one of the crews found some, was it fabric in a Norwegian store? Stoff of Steel? Stoff of Steel, and, and yeah. They didn't ship. Yeah, that can happen too. And that was new for us because we've been to Stoff and Steel many times to buy fabrics and we were told that they also had other things in the basement. Mm -hmm. I didn't know there was a basement. But we went there. In the basement? Yeah. I can't remember. Uh, it was, I can tell you exactly when it was. <laughs> when was that? <laughs> it was a year ago when we had been to the in ballet. In the basement? Yeah. Oh. It was a year ago. We had been to the <laughs> ballet with our friends from Lithuania. Yeah. And then we went to, it was the day we, we were going to pick up our, our new, the new artwork that we had bought. Is that when I bought? And we went to Sturgarten, to Stoff of Steel, and yeah. they, had a, they had a below stairs. They had two floors, the yeah. main floor, which was street level, and a basement. Okay. Yes, they I did. I can't remember, I've been in the basement. Well. A short time memory. A lot of, no, I, it's not that. It's that <laughs> we have a very busy life with lots of things that go on, and so... You only remember important things. Yeah. And I was looking for... And apparently this was not No, I was thing. looking for organza, I think. No, I bought cotton, cotton fabric. That I won't remember, but I do remember... That I remember. I do remember that, uh, that we were there, and it's yeah. about a year ago uh, now. So, uh, yeah. But, you know, I mean, uh, some stores don't ship, some stores ship, and... Mm. Uh, you, you, you know, you go along uh, with whatever it is they yeah. do. Uh, but Japan is quite difficult to read um, online stores. You can actually go to Google Chrome and have them translate it. But it's still complicated. Yeah. Um, and I probably most of them won't ship. Mm. I don't know, though. But I, I mean, know. I may be wrong. But if you are going to Japan, Hobira Hobira is a great uh, chain of stores. Um, and we been, went to the thrift store. Where was it? Oh, when did we not go to the thrift um, store? This was in Kirkenes, up north, close to the Russia board, Russian border. And I found a dead ladies project. Another one. And this one, I think she was a drop dead. She, because <laughs> the, the needle was still in. She, she was stitching and she might have just. Look, the needle. Yeah. I think. And she just left the needle there and went. And just <laughs> handed in her. Slippers. No, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that's how you say it in Norwegian, yeah. In, yeah. in English, I think you say they, you, they kick the bucket. Oh, well, yeah, no. They Is kick it... the bucket. In Norwegian, you hand in your slippers and uh, say, at least where I'm from. you're done. Hand yeah. in your slippers. So this is, uh, this is actually very nice. a very nice design. We, mm -hmm. have, we have a few of these in your collection. We do. Or is it my collection? It's our collection. Our collection with the cushions from Sweden, mm. and some of them your grandmother did. She did. And this one we didn't have. So I'm, I'm gonna finish this one for the lady, or the man, or whoever it was who handed in their slippers. But it's very soft, so we need to have this frame to put it up on. Mm -hmm. And this is actually quite fun, because I'm, I'm not sure, because these, Pillows are made with something called a twisted cross stitch in Norwegian. Okay. Vrid korsting. Uh, I think it's a, in English it would be something like a twisted co a cross stitch. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if this person actually did that. This looks like a normal cross stitch. Okay, yeah. So I will see when we start doing it. Yeah, but this one came with a whole bag of stuff. Yeah, all the yarn is there. So, you know, whoever handed in their slippers also handed in the, the yarn, yarn to complete the project. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so there should be enough yarn for this yeah. one. Maybe it's not really, I mean, we don't know if it's a drop dead <laughs> ladies project. Maybe she was blind. Maybe it was a very busy woman who, or maybe it was a man who just didn't have enough patience to finish the project. Yeah, or maybe we don't know. Lost the interest. Yeah, or maybe it was somebody who lost interest. What we do know, what we do know is that we love, uh, or Arne loves finishing these projects. Yeah, um, and this would be finished. I don't know. Do you feel pity? Do you feel pity upon the project? Is that what happens? Yeah, I think 
Some someone need to finish it. Mm, I agree. You can't just lay around being yeah. unfinished. I think there are actually seems like there's a mix of two different yarns here. Look at mm. that one. Yeah, that well. is more shiny. It's like a little. It's like a little uh, clue. No, it's, it's a like a little mystery. mystery. And now we get it, and then we have to kind of put the little you know clues in place to kind of figure out how it's to be finished. Yeah. How can we finish? And sometimes we, sometimes uh, you become very creative and you just go in a whole mm. different direction. But not on this one. But this one is so pretty that yeah. it's worth uh, finishing it as it, as is, it is, in my opinion. Yeah. And then on the cruise, I brought a lot of the hexagons. So I was also working on my Christmas quilt. Mm -hmm. And there it's, we have a lot of them now. Yeah. We can start to lay them out, actually, mm -hmm. to see how, they, how it will work together. The wheel of Santas. And the birds. And flowers. And the bird in, with the, the what do you call that again? The gingham. And more birds. And more gingham. <laughs> and birds. <laughs> and some mistletoe. <laughs> and more birds. No, this is gingerbread. Sorry. That's gingerbread. And some moose moose. And some... Uh, no, this is reindeer. Reindeer. Yeah, that's or uh, or a elk, deer. Deer. What is this in English? Uh, let me see. I can't see what it is. Poinsettia, Poinsettia. or something. Poinsettia, Poinsettia or whatever. It's a Christmas flower. And a bird. And some more grass yeah. and berries. But and I also found some Christmas fabrics in the quilt store in Bode. So I'm mm. gonna add some new fabric to the old fabrics. Yeah. This is nice with the Christmas. Yeah, we should quilt. design some Christmas fabrics. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it probably do. It's actually. in the list of things it's to do. It's on the list like of things to design do. Design Christmas fabrics. Yeah. But it, uh, right now, I think I'm, I'm just finishing all the flowers I have and just let it be because it's not Christmas season in the thrift stores right no, now. No, certainly not. There's only one store in our neighborhood who has a Christmas corner the whole year. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to find Christmas fabrics in other stores. But we also have the, the other one, the floral one that we work on. Yeah, the one with handkerchiefs, handkerchiefs that we're doing as well. And we also got a lot of... And we've got a few yeah, here, right? We, these are, I think, was this the one we got from Karen on our last tour? I think so, we get, our we dear get friend. We a lot of gifts. We haven't yeah. opened all the suitcases and our, yet. Our but dear friend Karen gave, give, gives yeah, us... Yeah, these are from Karen, I think. beautiful... Um, you know, but these are heirlooms, so it's yeah. kind of... Um, Some of them is quite kind of hard to cut. But yeah, I mean, look at this. But people say, oh, just cut them. But this could be like so, for a doll dress or something. Yeah, this one here, I would take it and I would use it, the whole thing, and make a cool mm. and skirt then, or a top for a doll. And then look at this. Wait, 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 no, 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 wait, 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 let me just show these. I mean, look at that, yeah, it's so nice. beautiful. And then this one too. I these love. we can use some, oh, this is, this is doll dress. Material. Again, this one here, you just take it and you drape it into a doll dress or a top yeah. or a skirt. Because, but because these are, these are very, the very thin handkerchiefs, but they're beautiful. Mm. So I'm going to be, we cut them double and then we put them on the hexagon. Yep. So, and, and then, tank. Jamie, because we got so much old fabric from you. So these are really beautiful. There's like, a, I don't know, four different birds, probably. Mm. These are almost too nice to cut. So this will be put in a place, like with paper around or something. And this will be kept for a while. Mm. But they will, they could be beautiful in a quilt, but there are actually... Are these for Thanksgiving? I think so. It's a turkey. It's like a turkey. Or is uh, it a turkey? But they're different birds. Oh, okay. A duck. A pheasant. A fe pheasant. But they're all very beautiful. But then there are other fabrics here that is kind of a little bit easier to start cutting. Oh, these is these are actually from the same collection. And then, but she said, just cut them. So. So look at this one. This is this will be beautiful in a quilt. Yeah. Well, it was very nice of Jamie to bring this yeah. all the way from the U.S. There's quite a lot of it too. It's so many and so and beautiful. It's like it's almost look. 
Mm. It's almost hard to cut all these things. But we will. But we, we, we will do it and put it in a quilt and then mm. it will live forever. Yep. <laughs> but these are beautiful. Mm, absolutely. So we have, a, we have a big job to do with that summer quilt. Now we have so much fabric. We do, yeah. And you know all the white we can do, all the leftovers we can use for doll clothes and you can dye them. Mm. So you don't have all white. Yeah. So, so lots of things to uh, do and lots of... Uh, Another nice one. Lots of materials now. Oh, I love the lace around yeah, this one Yeah, even the well. lace, you know, you can take it off. And well, this one you could do a doll's dress with as yeah. well. And this one also, which is like applique. Or a little top or something. So we do get so many nice gifts from people. People are very kind. Oh, and, yeah. And very talented yeah. too. So speaking of that... Um, there yeah. is a, we, we got a very special gift and it's inspired by these guys behind me. Um, we've That's got a from little... Kelly from Montana and her family. Yeah, the and Hayden family. Jackson. And, and Barbara as well. And Barbara. So uh, they, do, you know, in honor of these, you know, we have, oh, whoops. Wait, be careful. We have a big collection of, uh, of uh, butterflies. Some of them real. And Some not real. Oops. Put it on the floor. Yeah, Don't put it, fall it. I'll hang it up later. And then I can show another one. This one is not very real. So this is just like um, an embroidered uh, thing on fabric. So anyway, we have the, in honor of that collection, um, Kelly and the, 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 Jack, the Hayden family, they made us these adorable little butterflies. As you can see, uh, they are uh, made by hand. And then uh, there's beads. Mm -hmm. Kelly did the tatting, I think it's yeah, called it's in English. Yeah, it's tatting and Swarovski with, crystals. with Swarovski crystals and she created the background and then uh, son and father yeah. made the, uh, the made box. the structure, the box. And they've all signed it here, that's very yeah. cute. And they said you can open it if something happens with the butterflies. Yeah, I'm not so. sure, we haven't tried because so they we put, don't need to try. There's signatures in there. Mm -hmm. And so our dollhouse that we are working on is gonna get a sweet little decoration on the wall to match the ones that we have yeah. here in, uh, in our dining room. So uh, it's very nice uh, to see. We're actually now um, in the, uh, by the way, we are in the, um, in the beginning of building our extension. Well, actually, the beginning of the extension began uh, 10 years ago Ten when we built a foundation and then yeah. we haven't done anything. But now we are building this extension um, and it is taking shape. And uh, today I said to Arna, maybe we should take all our beautiful um, insect collection and move them to, uh, to the new hallway mm -hmm. when the extension is made. That I think that would be really nice. Th there will be... Um, a lot of good space for them there. The extension that we now call the new wing. The new wing of the house. <laughs> so, so, so much uh, bigger and nicer than you call Well, that's it our friend wing. Lars who yeah. keeps, who keeps so. saying that he wants to come and visit us and stay in, a, in the yeah. new wing of the house. And you can. You can stay in the new wing. Yeah. But the reality, <laughs> Lars and Arne, because I have to tell Arne all the time, the reality is that it's only 15.6 uh, square meters. Uh, so about 160 square feet, and it's two stories. So, so in total, it's um, it's around uh, almost 32 uh, square meters. So about 320. So the new wing is feet. small. So it's a small wing. Um, there's only place for a new room, but Arna wants to decorate it as if it were a palace. Yeah, so but I have plans. You want a desk in the middle, and then you want to surround it with Roman no, statues. No, I have plans. Yeah, I will. Yeah. But it is, a, it, it is going to be a, a small you're room. Looking at, you're looking over there. I'm looking at the extension. <laughs> We're losing you. Yeah. Because for the first time uh, ever, there's, a, there's an extension in the, in the way, out in the window. So suddenly we're going to be looking in to the bathroom, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, there won't be windows on that side. There will be one window here. Not on the bathroom. No, there's not on the bathroom side. That's true. Anyway, the, the extension is going to get an amazing view. Oh my goodness. The view... I think we should have like some Greek artwork on the wall. Yeah, and what some, Roman, that? Sculptures. some Roman sculptures. And, and stuff. we'll do busts, yeah. right? Yeah. And then we can do like mosaics. We, yeah. can, we, can go, we can get Kelly to do more of these for us in real. Yeah. And then we can put them all over. And, uh... and we have to show the, the bookshop we got. Oh yeah. 
because that's all that's from uh, also from uh, Jamie. Jamie and this one we managed to bring it home without breaking anything and I think this uh, bookstore in my library that's probably the word it's a library it's a book drop because it's got a book drop yeah this one can actually I think this one goes in the small dollhouse so maybe mm. we can just put it in and make a new yeah. room in the dollhouse and it looks like there's a comfortable chair as well to put in no there. that chair is from yeah look that's yeah, but it from, fits. The, from, from Jamie and the cat oh okay so we have you a see? lot of things and then from everybody Saskia wants and her family, Arna, a sewing machine yeah but everybody wants a cozy corner with books and a chair right yeah. that's kind of like the dream place for most people in the world so where do I put my um, dollhouse where do you put your dollhouse which dollhouse the big one. Oh, okay. do you think we have a place in the wing? In the new wing. The well, new wing. otherwise it can be in the guest bedroom that we were. Yeah. You know, we're getting a guest bedroom yeah. now. Yay! Yeah. And then the, yeah, there was a sewing machine from Saskia. Yeah, we have to put the pieces. And Bente, on. our friends from Holland, who came on the cruise. And this one actually, when you, you turn it around, like the 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 handle, it the needle goes up and down. That, this is actually very cool. Hmm. Look. So we have so many gifts, and we haven't and unpacked all that yet. We got this as well. That's also Jamie. That's also Jamie, but this one, Thank Arna. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> but this one, I think we should just uh, put it on the Christmas tree. Well, that could be nice. We could just hang it on the Christmas but tree. But it's also in a very nice box. It is, yeah. It's a violin with the... With the Yeah, bow. it's the whole thing. But yeah. we have a series of Victorian Christmas ornaments shaped like instruments. There's a harp. There is um, a guitar, a couple of other things. So, oh, whoops. So what this one would be, yeah, this one would be perfect in, yeah. um, in the Christmas tree. So again, thank you, Jamie. And the, and the box is beautiful. Yeah, and of course, uh, for the kitchen, also from Jamie, Jamie all of these beautiful uh, blue and white uh, pieces of porcelain that are beautiful. Yeah. And I also got, I got this one from Terry. Look, a Dolly Parton hang. I think it's a towel. Isn't this beautiful? Mm. Dolly Parton. And, and she said, I could put it in a quilt. I can actually put this in a quilt with a lot of, um, what you call that? Sequins. Sequins, and yes. Bling bling. Very nice. And Terry also gave me, um, it's not here, Terry. It is. But did you bring it here, it. My, it. my glass bowl? I think I saw it somewhere. I thought it was in the kitchen. A pink glass bowl with sweets. Those sweets. Oh, are we had long the sweets gone. already. They're long gone. No, but I put the. If you look, it's probably on the shelf. Oh, it's probably in the kitchen. Yeah. So you see, Jamie, it fit. I found a place for it um, on the shelf of the kitchen where the light comes in. So I have a collection of glass, um, and I like I like glass, colored glass. So I have this uh, very nice uh, pitcher. It's this kind of amber color. And then when the sun hits the picture from the window, it reflects on the kitchen cabinet. And you have that yeah, yeah, pink, the pink and plate. The, yeah, and then I have the pink plate that is the is depression glassware yeah. that our dear friend Marilyn gave us. And that's also on the shelf now. Uh, it's leaned against the wall. Mm -hmm. And I put blue tack on the shelf so that it won't, you know, fall. But that will match... The, yeah, the and then Terry yeah. gave me, I don't know, could you run to the kitchen and get oh, it? Just, just very quickly. Just give me a second. So Terry gave me a beautiful little bowl from, a, or like a little, yeah, like a sugar bowl from a, from a vintage store. Um, and again, it has that glass that is, uh, that has texture to it. There it is. Yes. This is beautiful. It is very beautiful. And it is a really nice kind of pink uh, as well. And as you can see, this has beautiful texture as well. And uh, yeah, I, um, I put it up on the shelf in, with my collection of glass. I have the, the, um, the, the jug that is in that amber co color, kind of like a brown yellow. Mm -hmm. And then I have um, a very old piece of glass, a, um, a carafe mm -hmm. that belongs to your family. Yeah, that's and, I found in the basement. Yeah, and now I've grouped it together with, and then I added this to the group. So there's three pieces of glass now, and they all have different, um, texture it's nice to have it on the sh on the shelf because the sun comes yeah and now say. i'm waiting now i'm just waiting for a sunny day which <laughs> was yesterday but not today so i'm waiting for a sunny day to see what happens and the reflections of the glass um on the walls yeah. it's 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 one of those little pleasures i have it's it's <laughs> it's a very small thin thing but uh 
coming into the kitchen and seeing the light hit the glass and seeing the play uh, of the light is really fun. And mm -hmm. then um, because we have the lake, um, we get a lot of light reflected in in the summer and the spring mm -hmm. uh, and the fall from the lake in. And again, because it's moving and it's like a reflector, it gives a lot of nice play here. And the it's like we know when the the spring is coming because then we get these uh, rainbow colors in yeah. the room because of the there's a chandelier in the hall, and mm -hmm. that one sends uh, the rainbow colors. Yeah, but now so, with this monstrosity of an extension. But this is just now because there will be more light because yeah. there will be a big door with a glass yeah. window in the wing. Yeah, in the wing of the house. <laughs> so, and on the on the last tour, I also almost finished this dress for the share doll. There's only a few beads missing here now, and then I can sew the yeah. sew the the lining. Mm. So then this one will be finished out of the way. Yeah, this is oh, can we just this is a little work of couture here. You've got um, a dress with a, a quite a lot of embellishment here. It's a lace applique. And then uh, embroidered uh, beadwork. Yeah, the uh, lace applique of birds are a gift. Yeah. We got a whole envelope of lace from a lady in Norway. Yeah. I have the card somewhere, but I don't... And I know. love the way you're uh, applying the bead. Uh, the beadwork yeah. is quite beautiful. So yes, a purely couture dress for a, for the for a fabulous doll. I mean, when we found her, she was wearing a Pierre Cardin coat. So yeah. this girl here is very fancy. I think that and was a thing from, probably from the 70s because I've seen these dolls yes. with different P.I. Cardin yeah. outfits. I think it's a collector's item. I think it is. She's so cute. And then I found this doll in the thrift store. This yeah. is for the suitcase for the kids. For the kids. This is uh, someone who, who look, listen. <laughs> yeah. Magic. Mm. She probably need that magic wand or one. Yeah. So when she do this, then the sound comes. Mm. But this one, this one goes in the suitcase that our grandnieces and grandnephews are using. So they can them. play with yeah. her. They yeah. can play with all of them, but but this one is not maybe as not the couture. special as the couture doll. Yeah. So we have. Yeah, we and then always bring home stuff. And then going back to the trip, I think we're going to finish up with the trip that we did. So we were on the on the quilting cruise. Uh, which we had uh, a great time in. It was really lovely. Um, we were lucky. We ended up uh, just sitting there, relaxing and hanging out with all the other people in the group. It was yeah. a lot of fun. Uh, lots of people quilting, lots of people knitting, lots of people doing both. Um, we had a really great time. And yeah. then um, on the final day, uh, we received the news that the ship was arriving to Bergen early. Yeah. So we, half an hour. yeah, half an hour early. So we looked at this flight schedule and we decided that if we just left as soon as the ship entered uh, the terminal and rushed into a taxi, we would make it to an earlier flight, which meant we would arrive um, at home before it was dark. Yeah. So we changed our flights um, only to realize that there had been a very severe storm in Oslo the night before and that the airport was closed, the one in Oslo. So when we get to, uh, to the Bergen airport, after rushing out like maniacs, getting in the taxi that we had ordered, getting over to the airport, we got to the airport at 2.45. Mm. And the flight should be at... 4.20. 4.20. And then we got the news that that flight was cancelled. Cancelled. And then we actually... And then we got booked to went, the original yeah. flight that we had that was going to leave at 10 past 6. So we go through security and we go inside. Um, and the thing is, we have a gold card, both of us, with SAS. So uh, we are pretty, we have a high status there and they'll book us immediately. So uh, we get to the, we get to, through security, we get rebooked um, and then the flight gets canceled. Mm. And then uh, we get a little bit worried because the, there was a final flight leaving at almost eight o'clock. And that would have meant us arriving very late. And be yeah. because of the situation of the weather, we became a little bit anxious that driving home would be Especially extremely dangerous. If it was a snowstorm and they yeah. said the roads were slippery and then we decided that yeah, we, decided we went to, out again. Yeah, we decided mm -hmm. to leave security, uh, go down the stairs and go up to check-in counter and to tell them not to rebook us. Because if there would have been space on the last flight, they would have rebooked us automatically. I don't know how many other people were there with a gold card, but gold cards are usually for frequent travelers and businessmen and women, and this was on a Saturday, so maybe not so many. 
because we kept getting rebooked immediately. So we said, we do not want to be on that last flight. We would rather take a flight in the morning. So they booked us a hotel room yeah. um, and to cover the cost, which is great. And then we ended up uh, traveling to... Um, to Oslo in the morning instead mm -hmm. to drive home. It was nice because the we weather met, was beautiful. Yeah, and we met four of the people from the cruise and in we the had hotel, the last yes. dinner in the hotel with them. Mm. They were not booked for another flight, so they actually they should stay there. Yeah, but so that was nice. But w while we were sitting in the airport, so yeah, I did some therapy shopping. Yeah, Arne managed to. You know, Arne is very efficient with his time. I mean, that's why he gets everything done. I mean, there's so many things to do, and he gets them all done. <laughs> You know why? Because he's efficient. So we weren't in the airport for very long before we decided to leave. However, he managed to do this again. This is therapy shopping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we have three Barbies from the Barbie movie. And, yeah. I, and I'm, I'm like very back and forth. Should we open this one? And should we open them? Or should we just keep them in the box? Maybe this will be valuable in the future. Well, um, to put it this way, uh, it is very valuable as it is. It's this, <laughs> this is not a children's toy. And I repeat, this is not a children's toy. And I say this because of the price tag of these. Th yeah, these yeah. are insanely expensive, I have to say. They're very expensive <laughs> <laughs> for what they are. Well, that's what you do when you need therapy shopping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but... Now, so, we have, now we have the one with the gingham dress and we have one with the, the pink uh, outfit and the cowboy hat mm. and this one. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, this, this is uh, not a children's <laughs> toy. So maybe just keep them in the box and sell them on eBay uh, in, the in a few years, like in 20 years and for a big fortune. But talking about Barbie, <laughs> look. Yeah. <laughs> we got that one in the post. Somebody here loves Barbie, huh? <laughs> no, but the music on vinyl is so much better. And look, yeah. you get surprises. Look at this one. Ta -da! And you have... Uh, and here you have Barbie and Ken. Yeah. And you know, the thing when you open vinyl record, the smell of new vinyl mm. and the sound of yeah. vinyl is so much different than... The Absolutely, other one. it's and it's a lot of good music. I have to say, we've been playing this here, and we, you know, uh, and we're was, not dancing, maybe, but we were like, yeah, the Dua Lipa song is really yeah. good, and uh, yeah. And then we got another. This one also, Metteson. He's a Norwegian artist, really good. This is his first vinyl record. I think record. he signed it. He, and these are signed, and this is a white vinyl. Ooh. It's signed by Metteson. Look at the, this. I think this is beautiful. Mm. So we got some new music. Yeah. So, so and put, put that back. And then I will show you a surprise. Mm. Act, like, act like you're surprised, Carlos. Wait, 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 wait. In order to do that, I can't multitask. So I need yeah. to put this back in. Wait, 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 wait. And I'm going to put it back in the plastic because, you know. Just, wait, 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 wait. I, I, I'm not doing anything. I, 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 I'm just it's waiting. It's very chaotic here right so now. So you can be surprised. Oh, the stress. Oh, oh the, stress the stress of it all. Okay, there we go. So, you wouldn't believe this, but this is how the barbie will. <gasps> <laughs> Was that good? Yeah, isn't this cool? Mm. We have a pink one from Dolly Parton. Yeah. And now we have a Barbie pink. Yeah. At least we have one pink mm. from Dolly Parton. The... This, the um, Moxie wine, Moxie single. Yeah. Heartbreaker. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that one came on pink vinyl. Mm. So, uh, we hope that you have enjoyed this uh, week's uh, episode. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, it's time to leave for us, and we are going to actually uh, take some time off for Easter and vacations, but we will still continue with episodes here on our channel. So yeah. make sure to stay tuned um, every week uh, and enjoy some Arne and Carlos shenanigans, uh, sit in it for a bit and other regular episodes. We post a new episode every Sunday at 6 p.m. Uh, in Central Europe. Uh, right now we are a little bit out of sync, but soon we will be back into the uh, normal time. Because we're still on winter time. We're still on winter time in Norway when we record this. And you guys, if you are in other parts of the world, may have already jumped to summertime. And we are going to be jumping to sun summertime 
on the very last uh, weekend of March. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, but we were here. So make sure to watch our episodes. Give us those big thumbs up. Uh, interact, like, and comment. Uh, make sure to subscribe and be part of the Arne and Carlos family yes. uh, here on YouTube because there's a lot of fun things here on our YouTube channel. And if you want additional content, we do have a membership area uh, where you can get 15-minute updates uh, with us every week. There's live streams. And there's a whole bunch of other fun things to enjoy, such as cooking episodes and other shenanigans. So mm. make sure to check that out. All you need to do is go to the Art and Carlos channel, check out where the subscribe button is, and click on the join button, which is right next to it. And then you can see if this is something that interests you or not. And if you want to see more of the new wing, we also have shorts on Instagram. And, and yeah, reels on Instagram reels on and Instagram shorts, on, and shorts YouTube, on YouTube, where so. you can see a little bit of how our new wing is uh, coming out. So. Looking sounds, fabulous. Sounds so huge. Yeah. The wing. And just to finalize uh, the talk of the wing, uh, it's one <laughs> thing, no really, because one, it, it was one thing seeing that foundation for so many years. It looked really small, but now that there's walls, yeah. it looks uh, pretty good. I'm happy. My laundry room is going to be big. You're getting a long, laundry room. So I'm very happy with that. So thank you so much for watching, <laughs> and we will see you again very soon. Bye. Bye. That's silly. <laughs> That's so stupid. Okay, one more time. <laughs> Let's wave. Okay. okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Bye. Bye.